which is about a young girl who is drawn to magic and the supernatural, um, knows there's something a little bit different about herself, and she's not really sure what it is. And she's moved to a new country, ironically one she was born in, but taken away from when she was a baby. So she feels a bit displaced, and she's at this new high school. And she's a bit different, and weird things happen when she's around. She's trying to make friends. And then she finds out that, well, it's quite a big secret that's revealed to her, that she actually is a witch, a very powerful witch. And the story is about her journey of self-discovery, um, not only just as a young girl growing up, and, and and new high school, making new friends and new country and all that kind of stuff, but also finding out about how, you know, she can harness these magical powers, what they mean, and are they good or are they bad? The witchcraft that features in which is, um, it's accessible. It, it's very much based around harnessing the powers of the elements. In modern witchcraft, we consider the elements of air, earth, fire, and water sacred. And we use them, we interact with them when we're working magic, doing ritual, you know, things pertaining to the actual practice of witchcraft. Um, so the magic in which is something that, you know, if the reader was so inclined, they could even maybe explore and experiment with them and it themselves, because it's actually the real stuff. It's, it's what we do. It's not made up stuff. It's not focus pocus. It's, uh, it's the real deal. And again, or you, could, or you could just read the book. I mean, the magic in there, I hope, is inspiring. And it helps people realize that, you know, I mean, I'm often asked, what is my favorite spell? But I say, my life, my life is, is a work of magic in progress. And um, so I hope they would inspire readers to see their lives as intrinsically magical and, and fun and creative and adventurous and um, go on that journey of self-discovery with my character, with Vanya, as she goes on her journey of self-discovery. Oh, gosh, the scene I enjoyed writing the most about in the book. It's funny, when you write a book, I don't know, other authors might realize this, but when you finish a book, you're like, I'm never doing that again. Um, it was fun, but there were some tough moments. Um, the scene that I enjoyed writing the most, I think, is the, the scene in, of the storm. There's this massive storm that, uh, I don't know, I don't want to give too much away, but Vanya ends up, the lead character, Vanya, ends up conjuring up this storm. And um, her power is immense, and uh, writing about that was really exciting. And uh, I enjoyed helping her, or, or I guess letting her. I feel like she came through me, not from me, but going on that journey with her. And she, she really realized what she's capable of. And, and again, is it good or is it bad? So um, I really enjoyed that scene. It's about halfway through the book. There's a, theme, there's a theme in the book, and it's based on real witchcraft. It says three laws of witchcraft. Do what you want, but don't hurt anyone. Do what you want, but don't interfere with another person's free will. As you send out, so returns threefold, which basically means be aware that for everything you do, there is a, some kind of evil opposite or a magnifying reaction. Um, the second law, do what you want, but don't interfere with another's free will, in a way it means you're not supposed to cast spells that can make people fall in love with you. Um, because you're interfering with their free will. And it's always a bit of a conundrum in witchcraft because, of course, everyone wants that magic spell that's going to make someone fall in love with them. And um, in the book, Vani does this love spell. There's, and I'm not going to give too much away. You have to read the book. Um, it's, it works. It works because a real witch wrote it. <laughs> um, I sort of know what I'm talking about. Having said that, there's a twist to it. Um, so you'll have to read the book. But having said that as well... Uh, I think the most important love spell any person can cast, that they can be guaranteed of results, and they're not, in, they're not breaking any laws of witchcraft, it's the real deal, it's okay, is the love spell they cast on themselves, the spell of self-love. And when you cast that spell of self-love, which again is touched on in the book, um, but she also does it over the hospital, which is a few actually, um, the... Uh, when you cast that, that spell of self-love and, you, and then you radiate that love you have for yourself, it's unconditional and it's, it's fun and, and creative and celebrates yourself and your life. Then you become intrinsically attractive. And she learns this in the book. Um, but like I said, she does a bunch of love spells, so you're going to have to read the book and find out. See? Summer. 
Facebook, I guess, that made them on Facebook. Oh, a cat woman. Love cats. Mascara. Yoga. Definitely yoga. Love yoga. Lions and tigers. I love both of them. <laughs> I'd say flight because I'm a skydiver and a pilot. So I would say flight. Dare. Out of thin air. Manifesting the reptilian energy of the ancient goddess, I present Elvis. <laughs> Is it absolute? 